Democratic Vice Presidential nominee Senator Tim Kaine is with us from Charlotte, North Carolina. Senator, good morning. Good morning, guys. Uh, what is your response to the notion by Donald Trump that he may not uh, respect the election results? And if he does not, uh, what happens? Well, Charlie, that was the big shocker of the evening. There were others, but, uh, you know, I lived in Honduras as a missionary 35 years ago, and it was a military dictatorship. And I certainly learned there that one of the central pillars of our democracy is people accepting the outcome of elections and the peaceful transfer of power. And that Donald Trump would try to pull that pillar down after a campaign where he, he has insulted everybody else, and now he's going to insult a very central premise of our democracy was a huge shocker. I don't exactly know what it means, but it definitely means this. Everybody should turn out and vote. Early voting starts in North Carolina today. Let's send the, the biggest mandate we can so that his wines after the election uh, do not attract any followers. Uh, Senator, I asked this last night in post-debate coverage. Why do you think he'd said that? I don't have any idea, although I think Hillary may have gotten at something, which is he doesn't take responsibility for stuff. And so if something doesn't go his way, he's not going to say, I guess I should have ran a better campaign. I guess I shouldn't have been so divisive. He's going to blame it on somebody else. And Hillary used the example of him not winning the Emmy, and he couldn't resist jumping back in and said, I should have won the Emmy that year. He just doesn't know how to take responsibility. But that is a trait that is required, frankly, to be a good president. Well, respectfully, Senator, I mean, this made it all the way to the Supreme Court back in 2000 when Al Gore contested the election results. So does he not have a point in some way to say, let's see what happens and then I'll make a judgment? If, if all he had said during the entire last few weeks is, of course we're going to see what happens on election day, this wouldn't be a controversy. But he's going around again and again perpetrating a lie that the election is rigged. Uh, he's saying that over and over and over again because he knows that he's losing. Um, and it's insulting to voters to look him in the face and say, you guys don't know how to conduct an election. To look at county and state election officials, you don't know how to conduct an election. We do know how to conduct elections. We do it. And that's why the, his comment last night was, was so shocking. Uh, Senator, 38 percent of those uh, we polled in battleground states say uh, that Clinton, they don't necessarily believe, tells the truth. You have 19 days left to convince them otherwise. How do you do that? I think what we do is we almost use that closing argument that Hillary made last night when Chris kind of gave him a chance to sum up. And Hillary just pointed out that she has a lifetime track record of serving other people with a special focus on families and kids. And, and what I say uh, about this question on the trail is the best way to tell somebody's character in politics is look and see if they have a passion that showed up in their life before they ran for office and whether they've held on to that passion throughout their life. Hillary Clinton has a passion. She's going to wake up every day focusing on how her families and children doing as a barometer for how is the larger society doing. Donald Trump has a passion, but the passion is himself. It's not the serve other passion that Hillary Clinton put on display last night and that uh -huh. she's demonstrated throughout her career. Senator, thank you.